Silver is the perfect inflation metal and may be on the verge of a huge uptrend. The silver price often poses many puzzles and is difficult to forecast. Fundamentally, it looks very good, as demand is increasing more and more in contrast to supply. E-mobility, which will consume about 100 million ounces silver per year alone in the next few years, solar plants, high-tech applications, investment demand and much more will ensure that silver is consumed and will not be available for recycling for a long time. This creates real opportunities to cheat inflation and ultimately profit from it. The silver chart is literally bubbling. On the line chart, the 50-day moving average is already turning upward and will soon intersect the 200-day line from the bottom up. The lows in silver should be behind us and the triple low at $22 has held so far. For a breakout, silver needs to get above $32 per ounce. Then things really take off in the pointed figure chart. We see an initial price target at $39, then $55 per ounce of silver in the longer term. The silver companies below all have something in common. The 50-day line has started to turn upwards and the companies are delivering very good news. It's just that prices haven't moved much. And Denver Silver is looking very good. The lows are over and we see a price target of around 12 to 13 Canadian dollars in the line chart. In the point and figure chart, we are a bit more conservative and see a first price target at 11 Canadian dollars and 50 cents. Both therefore positive for Endeavor Silver. Budding silver producer Max Silver has held up very well. Production ramp up is also going extremely well. The chart looks good and the last low is above the pen ultimate low. The point and figure chart indicates a near term target of 33 Canadian dollars and longer term we calculate a price target of 44 Canadian dollars per max share. Discovery Silver not only reported a monster resource with a billion ounces silver equivalent, but the stock turned cleanly to the upside. The upside potential is enormous. If the 50-day line crosses the 200-day average from the bottom to the top, then interesting price targets arise. In the line chart, we see 4 US dollars and in the point and figure chart, we see at least 4.5 to 4 US dollars and 75 cents as next targets. An interesting case is Kuya Silver. The budding producer that plans to start production with the Bethania mine as early as 2022 has been a victim of the silver price decline. The chart, however, has started to turn and has already broken out of downtrend. We see a possible price target at 3.5 US dollars in the next two years for Kuya Silver. Last but not least, we want to talk about our old favorite Whistler Silver. The company had a stellar run and then a healthy consolidation. The cut of the 50-day line to the downside and the quick cut again to the upside in the green circle marked on the line chart gives strength to the Whistler chart. The point and figure chart has limited power. However, we derive price targets of 4 to 4.5 Canadian dollars for Whistler Silver from both chart types. If the silver price goes into the 40 to 55 dollar per ounce range as described above, we can imagine quite different meaning much higher price targets for all stocks. Therefore, investors should position themselves in silver and good stocks to make money with inflation. Because the production costs by far do not increase as the silver price is boosting margins. So we should have some super years ahead of us. I'm Jochen Steiger, CEO of Swiss Resource Capital AG in partnership with Dukas Copy TV. Thanks for watching us and bye bye from Geneva.